and welcome back to that effing guy. Now I know you're probably thinking, why is he wearing the same t-shirt as the last video? Because I'm a smelly, dirty bastard. No, um, I filmed a video there for my one year anniversary on YouTube and I thought, while I'm all set up and I've got time to kill, let's make another video. So I have got my movie news video and here's all my notes on my phone, my little tripod that's four pound from B&M. It's fucking pish, but hey ho, it works for this. So, it's episode two of my movie news roundup. Last week we had the horror movie news, this week we've got every movie news. So, we've got Bond 25 news, Ghostbusters uh, 2020 news, Chris Rock's Saw, Power Rangers reboots, you name it, I've got it. And we've also got a sneak peek of possibly an Nightmare on Elm Street reboot that I mentioned last week and it looks like there's going to be some concrete coming up soon regarding the, regarding the director I don't mean sneak peek like there's going to be footage or anything like that but a director anyway so first of all Bond 25 now pardon me the cast and crew everyone got announced uh, a few months ago and I obviously I, I, I reported that in my Bond 25 review video um, Christoph Waltz who played Blofeld in the 2015 Spectre Bond film um, was not in the casting list or nothing was mentioned so we all thought are they playing it close to their chest are they going to have a cameo nothing Christoph Fox also said nope I'm not in it they've not called me done deal I'm finished with Blof Blofeld um, and everyone thought that Rami Malek was maybe the new Blof Blofeld Rami Malek was maybe playing the protege of Blofeld who knows well 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 it's not been 100% confirmed, but we're about 95.9% confirmed that Christoph Waltz was seen on the set of Bond 25 or walking through the studio of the Pinewood Studios in London, England, uh, by a visitor and the, he basically turned to the visitor who seen him and said, you never seen me. So that then says that, well, is it a coincidence? That he's there and they're filling something else. So speculation has gone fucking mental that Christoph Waltz is back as Blofeld, James Bond's arch nemesis, and well, in this uh, generation, he is now uh, James Bond, Daniel Craig's Bond's stepbrother, foster brother. So there's a tiny rumor, I don't know how spread this is, that he possibly is either going to be in a flashback sequence. Or he's playing, like, he has Blofeld for a part of the film where he's playing a Hannibal Lecter type character behind a cell and James Bond goes to him for advice because Rami Malek is, again, supposedly his protege, his, his next generation, basically, of Blofeld. Hmm. Could work. Some fans might be like, that's pish, but I, for one, uh, that's yes. So we'll find out more than well, obviously when we when it comes to. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be a Bond review, possibly. I mean, you'd have loved to have thought of Comic Con, but Columbia and Sony aren't going to be at Comic Con this year. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe they'll just have a wee sneak, just out of the blue. They'll be like, "Hi," and you'll be like, "Oh my god," or maybe they'll try and release something to kind of. Just, I don't know, maybe, maybe people will be at Comic Con and then all of a sudden the trailer hits on the, the internet, I don't know. Because um, you know how some studios like to derail other studios at Comic Con with uh, posting things online when they're not actually at the event just to throw the railing, just to throw the train off the rails. It's a bad analogy, but yeah, I mean. Next, Ghostbusters 2020. Jason Reitman this morning took to his Instagram and released a picture of Carrie Coon, McKenna Grace and Finn Wolfhard and, his, and also um, Jason's dad, Ivan Reitman, the original Ghostbusters um, godfather and has said that filming has begun on the 2020 sequel. Now we know that uh, Paul Rudd's in it. He is confirmed to be playing the teacher of the, the new kids, because obviously it's supposed to be set around kids. 
Um, Paul Rudd has been wasted, because I said he'd be a fantastic Ghostbuster, but he's been wasted and turned into a teacher. But we don't know, he might become a Ghostbuster at some point, we don't, we don't know. Um, but yeah, if he doesn't, he's wasted. And we obviously know that Sigourney Weaver, um, Annie Potts, puts Annie Potts, Annie Potts, and Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Dan Aykroyd are all returning. So we'll find out what's what. Um, people have made a theory that McKenna Grace is wearing like kind of very old-fashioned day wee kind of specs, and they say that it's it's kind of possibly a likeness to Harold Ramis's Egon. Is he? Is she possibly the the great granddaughter? Is Carrie Coon the daughter? Oh, of Egon. Oh, exciting. Anyway, we'll find out more when, you know, the ship begins to film. Obviously, it's began filming today, but there's not much in terms of, like, oh, there's Bill Murray! So, we'll find out soon. Uh, Chris Rock's Saw. So, last week we reported that Chris Rock was producing and also pitching an idea to the Saw producers about a new film. So, the film has begun. The, the Saw, this new Saw sequel that's in canon with the previous films, it's not a direct sequel to the, the 2017. Uh, reboot, of, reboot, which was Jigsaw, um, well, reboot, revival, sequel, whatever you want to call it, but it is in camera with the, the complete franchise. But it's also said that it could be a possible, it's also said that it's, it could be a po take three, it could also, it's also been take four, it's also been said that it could be a side sequel, or sort of spin off to the Saw franchise, but it's in canon with the original, with the original Saw films, or all, all eight original films, and not only is Chris Rock producing it, Pitching the idea, he's in it. He's starring as a detective cop, whoever either either uses a normal cop or he's a detective, trying to take down the jigsaw killer. There's no word if Tobin Bell will be returning as John Kramer, as he is. Well, spoilers. He's been dead for the last three or four films, but he seems to just always be there. Where it's been flashbacks or the great twist of Jigsaw was the fact that the Jigsaw film actually happened at. In between the other Saw films, but it was also set after the Saw films. Mindfuck. I love the Saw films for those little things of just like, wait, what, what? Um, so obviously everyone was like, how is he alive? Is it a prequel? Is it, I don't know. Has he faked his death? How has he done that? Anyway. Um, and not only has this crazy ass Saw film got Chris Rock starring in it as a detective who's taking down the Jigsaw Killer, it's also got Sam Jackson playing Chris Rock's dad. Nick Fury himself is playing Chris Rock's dad, and the two of them are going to join forces and take down a Jigsaw Killer. Now, if Sam Jackson's in this, it must be a great film, because if Sam Jack, why would Sam Jackson be in a film that's going to absolutely be shite? Batman's <coughs> Bodyguard, and also, <coughs> Robocop 2014 reboot, sorry, that was too, that was too, well, the Robocop reboot was pretty good, but you always just think if Gary Oman's in it and Sam Jackson's in it, it must be a great film. Um, how we were wrong. Um, so yeah, Sam Jackson's playing Chris Rock's dad. And now on to my next part of my little movie news video. Do, 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 do. Rocket Man, Ellen John biopic. Rocket Man director Dexter Fletcher is close to, if not already, signed on the dotted line to direct 2021's Sherlock Holmes 3, the Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law third film. I was trying to think of a big massive thing but I couldn't think of it. Uh, the Sherlock Holmes franchise, the film, the Warner Bros. film franchise obviously was directed, the first two films were directed by Guy Ritchie. There's no word if he's going to come back in any shape or form, but Dexter Fletcher is looking to be directing a new film after his success with fucking anything he makes, to be honest. That'd be good because Dexter Fletcher's got that kind of streak thing and obviously he's credited to Gary because obviously Lock's Dog, Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, all that. Shebang. Um, shebang, anyway. So, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that. Uh, obviously Robert Downey Jr. has finished his Marvel career and now he's free to be, to do what the hell he wants, Sherlock Holmes 3. Because it's been quite, it's been like, what, 10 years or so since the last one? Could be interesting. I hope they don't do like a, it's only been a year. You think they'd maybe make it a kind of lengthy, it's been 10 years. Um, and on to 
the next part, the Power Rangers movies. Hasbro obviously purchased the rights to the Power Rangers toys and obviously Hasbro have a contract with Paramount to make movies and Hasbro has said that they want to make a new Power Rangers film, a new chain of Power Rangers films which obviously Lionsgate were originally making when they had, when Saban and all that had the rights. So, I can't remember saying his name, Decree Montgomery. Uh, Star of Stranger Things and Jason in the 2017 reboot of Power Rangers has said that in a new interview has said that Paramount and Hasbro are looking to reboot completely and have no connection to the 2017 reboot which originally was teased the fact that Hasbro said that they would like to hopefully strike a deal with both Lionsgate and Paramount and maybe comp combine and just do a soft reboot with the same cast it doesn't look as if it's going to be that. Doesn't look as if it's going to be that way. They're going to go a complete reboot with a whole new cast. And Montgomery said that they're looking at for kids like 13, 14, 15. <sighs> they're looking for basically the Shazam kids, basically. <sighs> they're they're looking for kids who are like Spider Man-y, Shazam-y, Stranger Things-y. Itty, just kiddy. Ghostbusters 2020. So yeah, uh, again, <sighs> at the end of the day though, the, the, the teenagers in Power Rangers, even back to the 1990s original, um, were meant to be like 15, 16 years old. So uh, I think what he means is they're not casting like 24 year olds or 21 year olds to play like 15, 16 year olds. They're looking for 15, 16 year olds to play 15, 16 year olds. Which makes sense because then you're not looking at like Andrew Garfield who was like 28 playing like 15 year old or Tobe Maguire who was like 30 playing like, no he wasn't that old but you know what I mean. But I get what they're saying, they're trying to look for kids who are closer to the age than you know their actual acting, the real ages. But anyway, I love Power Rangers, I'm happy, I'm happy there's a new film, I'm happy that we are going to get new movies. I'm not happy that it's not going to be the same cast because I like the 2017 cast, they're all brilliant and had great character development and it felt like a feature length Power Rangers episode with the whole set with the characters and then boom, big fight scene at the end the problem with Paramount doing it is Michael Bay will have some involvement in it and it'll just be a Michael Bay CGI shit fest moving on now remember I spoke briefly about Nightmare on Elm Street last week about there are a movie being toyed with um, so here's a wee, not a sneak peek but here's a wee kind of oh, um, Alec Alexand Alexandre, 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 Aja, can't pronounce his name, he's directing a new crocodile movie, Crawl, with Sam Raimi, and on the Sam Raimi note, this would be our last bit of news, um, Alexandra Aja, Aja, Aja directed the 2000, 2006 remake of The Hills of Ice, which I thought was bloody spectacular, literally bloody, um, he's being looked at to direct the second reboot of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise and there's still word that Kevin Bacon could be playing the knifey finger bad guy the guy of the Christmas jumper and uh, Freddy Krueger and uh, ha 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 um, which I love Kevin Bacon, he'd be a bit brilliant but he'd be fantastic so yeah, so that's happening possibly um, and like I said, speaking of Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi has teased to resurrect the Evil Dead franchise on the big screen with either a fourth film that's been toyed for years before and even after the 2003 reboots. Now, Sam Raimi has said that he's going to try and get Bruce, get Bruce Campbell out of retirement because obviously Bruce Campbell after the TV series ended after three seasons, sadly, he got cancelled but it's a great series by the way has said that uh, Ash is dead and then ever so slightly he keeps saying well Ash could ca happen again if the right thing, the right deal, the right time basically if money talks bullshit walks it'll happen so Sam Raimi has said obviously he wants to do a new Evil Dead whether it be a Evil Dead 4 to his franchise or the team up film with Ash and the character Mia from the 2013 reboot um, and obviously that was teased at the very end with Bruce Campbell saying groovy and then everyone was like oh my god in the same universe but the director of the director of the 2013 reboot which I can't pronounce his name so I'm going to say it um, last year toyed with the idea of would fans want an Evil Dead 2? yes because his remake was really really good actually more brutal than kind of slapstick 
But then obviously we want a Bruce Campbell sequel. We kind of got that with Evil Dead, Ash vs Evil Dead, but a big screen film, whether it be an Evil Dead 4 or the team up film, would be fantastic, so yeah. But that's all for today guys, that's all the movie news, yeah? So I'll see you guys uh, next week for that effing guys movie news roundup. I was going to call it movie just because like STV aren't exactly using movie juice anymore, are they? So, and I was in movie juice actually, I've done reviews for it. Um, yeah, bye bye.